In Eastman, one couple says they're alive and well thanks to two high schoolers who noticed a house fire before it spread. Kayla Solomon met the heroes and the homeowners. It's a story that comes straight from the heart. Just fried all that. On the night of January 11th, William and Nancy Frost say they were heading to bed when they heard lightning strike. It was really loud and really close. Um, but then when we came back in the living room after we heard it, the TV was gone. It, it didn't, didn't work at all. But they thought nothing of it until they heard loud knocking on their door. And they said, your house is on fire. You need to grab a jacket and get out. The two boys were Walter Taylor and Jackson Kitchens, two seniors at Dodge County High School, but they couldn't tell exactly what was on fire. The frost say all started when lightning struck this pole behind their home, sending large chunks to the ground. But what was actually on fire was the gas meter, which is on the opposite side of the house. That's where the orange glow was that Taylor and Kitchens say they saw as they drove up Lawndale Drive, and they called 911. Uh, first thing to do is they spray the, this whole side of the house that isn't already on fire to keep it from spreading and then they eventually was able to put it out. The Frost say the damage was minimal. They just needed to replace their gas meter and get new wiring. And they're thanking Taylor and Kitchens for that. For me, I don't really feel like a hero. I feel like any decent person put in that situation would have done the same thing we did. And we didn't do anything extraordinary like we knocked on the door and not called 911. But Frost disagrees. Can't say enough about what these young men did, but as a uh, it's just been of what this community is about. In Eastman, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. The teens say they didn't know at the time that Nancy Frost worked at their high school for over 30 years, but they're glad they could help regardless.